Hi everyone, welcome to Rudy on Wheels, Sri Lanka. I hope you all are doing fantastic. Uh, today I'm at Nitrozone Automobile Clinic and I've got a job to do that is to make these four rims smooth so that when we paint the rim it's gonna be perfectly smooth and the product, the end product is gonna be fantastic. So let me just show you what the steps are and take you through it. So if you want to keep on watching, don't forget to subscribe down below and follow me for more on Instagram. All right, let's get started. Got a set of four rims here that have been and blasted and primered so what I've got to do is prepare the rims for paint let me just show you what needs to be done first thing is to take a bucket of water with sandpaper 360 which you will use to take off any damages that are on the rim Once I'm done sanding, I run my fingers on the rim to see if there are rough areas left. And if I am satisfied enough with uh, the smoothness of the rim, I will use uh, sandpaper 600 followed by 800 to get a finer, smooth finish. So now what we've got to do is we have to wash the rims and then mask it so that we can get started on the paint job. Once the tire is dry, take some masking tape, cut into small bits and paste all around the rim first. But you have to make sure not to leave any gaps between the rim and the tire. If not, you will end up painting the tire as well. It's good if you can paste masking tape all around the tire. It's a bit time consuming, but it'll make life much easier. Taking a small break with my garage friend right here. This is the paint mixing room. We use Sikans brand and I'll be showing you in another tutorial how we mix paint. The customer chose a silver paint for the rims. We have to mix it well and then pour it to the spray gun container. For this job, I'm going to be using a 1.3 nozzle size spray gun. Now it's time to paint the rims. Let's hop to it. When you paint a rim, it's always good to paint it in circular motion and also make sure you don't paint too close to the rim. and back have to be painted and always double check after painting and see if there are any missed spots and if there aren't any you can go ahead and spray the lacquer
lacquer is a very important component because it helps protect the paint and you end up with a gloss finished product and that's just beautiful all right just finished uh, spraying the lacquer so what we have to do now is to turn the heat on in the paint booth and see what the end result is now it's the time to bake the paint uh, so i'm gonna turn it to 60 degrees um, it usually takes around 40 minutes um, for the entire paint to dry there are lots of advantages to having a paint booth for one thing there is less dust and um, you do a quicker job uh, because the chemical reaction of the paint reacts faster and also it's safer for the environment so what do you think about the end product i love this silver shade i think it complements um, the classic beetle really well well that's about it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you want to know more don't forget to leave me a comment down below and i'm hoping to catch you all soon until next time bye